My name is Anna Linda Ramirez and I will be presenting Hermann von Helmholtz. Helmholtz was a German physicist and physician. Here's his little selfie here on the left. We will discuss his early life, accomplishments, and the impact he has made on different topics throughout his lifetime. Section 1. Early Life Helmholtz was born in the year 1821 in Potsdam, Prussia. Prussia is now known as Germany. As a child, he suffered an illness making it impossible for him to attend school until the age of seven. While at home, he spent much of his time working with building blocks, which helped him teach himself a little bit of geometry skills. This shocked his teachers and he, as he had just begun school for the first time at the age of seven. He wanted to be a physicist, but his family had little money, and for that reason, he joined the army. Section 2 Accomplishments While he was in the army, he studied under Johannes Müller, a biophysicist, where he practiced as a surgeon for two years in Berlin. Um, but he became discouraged, unfortunately, due to the rate of which he would receive patients who could not be revived or saved, um, so he returned to Prussia, where he began to study, research, and publish scientific papers. Um, this included one of his most revolutionary works, which was the Law of Con the Law of the Conservation of Energy, for which he is best known for. Uh, this was published in 1847, which created a name for himself as a scientist. Uh, he went on to publish many physician papers following this um, publishing. Measurement also played a large role in Hemholt's science. Some consider him a mathematician. He proposed the idea that quantity and number are defined separately, where quantity would precede number. In 1871, due to his scientific and mathematical skills, he was discharged from the army to assist an anatomical museum and lecturer in the Academy of Fine Arts in Berlin. Helmholtz invented and improved scientific instruments often. Two of his inventions were the ophthalmoscope and the ophthalmometer, which observed the inside of the human eye and determined the health of the inside of the eye. Um, Helmholtz played a role in empirical psychology, possibly indirectly. The measurability of sight can be accredited to him in his indirect motivations. Many believe that he did not choose to discuss psychology as there's not one clear answer in psychology as there would be in, let's say, mathematics or physics. Wilhelm Wundt was one of Helmholtz's uh, students. They worked on sensory physiology together and if you're not familiar with Wilhelm Wundt, he is actually one of the best known psychologists to this day. Section 3, Impact. Helmholtz spent much of his life showcasing that um, nature could be understood in physical terms through mathematics, science, physics. He, with his inventions, made it possible to accurately prescribe people eyeglasses before it was a hit or miss type of thing. Um, you can also now determine the health of one's eye, as I discussed earlier. In 19, sorry, 1894, he was, he actually passed away. Um, he was a workaholic who became sick from this often and actually never fully recovered from his childhood sickness. In his name, there was a principal research institution association named in his honor in Germany, named the Helmholtz Association, which is the largest German association for research there is today. I thought this was funny. There's a little phone case you can buy online. The link is in my sources if you really want it. 
Um, but just an overview, he really affected many areas of life because he didn't believe in abstract theories or any other reason outside of science to explain life on Earth. He dedicated much of his life to mathematics and physics. Question one, what were the focuses of Hemholtz's inventions and were they similar? What ways? And question two, who was Hemholtz's most recognizable student in the history of psychology? Just a little picture of him being a professor, all cute. And thank you. There are my resources. And I have my links hyperlinked here. Thank you.